Hey, what's up YouTube? Mississippi Metals here. And today I wanted to talk about why I buy one-tenth ounce gold eagles. But first off, I need to say I am not a professional and this is not financial advice. And also, while I have your attention, please hit that like and subscribe button. Just starting out and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Alright, the one-tenth ounce gold eagle. Let's talk about the coin for a minute. You know, it's uh, got the St. Gaudens Liberty on the obverse. And then depending on what year, this is the Type 2 that has the eagle staring back at you. I think these started coming out in 2021. Um, the older styles on the reverse they're going to have the family of eagles on the back side sorry they're hard to handle <laughs> they're surprisingly small about the size of a dime i know it's hard to tell in this video but uh they are a little small but another thing about the one tenth i hear a lot of other youtubers say this and i believe it's true the one-tenth is about as small as you want to get, but still be able to feel the heft, the weight of the gold. And I believe that. Yeah, there are smaller coins. Now, the, the one-tenth gold eagle does not come any smaller, but there are smaller coins and bars. But you really just can't feel the, the weight, the density of the gold until you get to one-tenth of an ounce. You know, these one-tenth ounce eagles, just like their bigger brothers, they're 22 karat gold, which 22 karat is an alloy. Um, basically, it's 3% silver and 5.33% copper. They weigh in at 0 0.1091 troy ounces, which would make that a tenth of an ounce. Um, they have a face value of five dollars. Let's see if we can get that to zoom in. Let me try one of these others. Let's see if we can find that five dollar face value on here. Let's see. Uh, let's find it. Bear with me. I'm coming. All right. Here we go. Let's focus in. Focus in. Maybe we can see that. Uh, one tenth of gold five dollars there we go we got it thanks for bearing with me on that again they are small and slippery um all right so why do i buy them that's a good question um for me it's the price point is one main thing the price point Again, they're going to run probably about $220, $250, depending on where you buy them from. And for that price, it really works out for my budget. I know there's some of you guys out there that can buy an ounce or two a month, and that's great. I'm glad for you. For me, a tenth ounce a month is, is really good. Sometimes I get to, you know, come around and get a quarter ounce or a half or, you know, but... I try to stick with at least buying a tenth ounce of gold a month and that adds up it really does and I know a lot of people say you know you have the the premiums okay so if you pay 250 and for a tenth ounce eagle and you buy 10 of them well what's that of course that's twenty five hundred dollars well you can buy a whole ounce eagle for you know, I think right now online you can probably buy one for about nineteen fifty. You know, maybe right at two thousand dollars, depending on where you buy it from. You know, that's that's a big difference there. But I will tell you, the resale value on these, it's not too bad of a deal. And I, I did a little math, and I'll try to put up a diagram if I can. Again, I'm not super computer savvy, but I'm doing the best I can, and I do appreciate all my viewers. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, Again, I bought this one-tenth ounce today. I bought this one right here today from my local coin shop. 
and shout out real quick to Bill's Coins and Jewelry in Jackson, Mississippi. Really great staff, knowledgeable, and a wide selection of inventory. Thank you guys. I really appreciate your business being there. But I bought that one today for $220. All right. And I went and looked on SD Bullion's website. And you know, they have a buyback program. Their buyback program where they list what they will pay for a specific item. So I happened to go and look up a one tenth ounce gold eagle and they say they are paying bid price plus ten dollars all right so bid price right now is eighteen fifty four ten all right so uh you divide that by ten well what do you get you get a hundred and eighty four seventy okay plus ten dollars is 194.70 okay all right so i could sell it back today and only lose six dollars and thirty cents so that's i mean that's really not bad i could turn around and resell it and only lose six dollars in one day of course we all know the point of precious metal stacking it's not to buy it and then try to flip it unless you just get a really good deal on something but the point is to hold it for a few years and let the value of gold or silver or whatever metal that you're stacking appreciate so i, I really believe that if you if your goal or your budget only allows you to buy the one tenth ounce a month well hey you get to stacking and you get 10 of them, you know, it, it should be every well bit worth what you paid for it and even a little bit more. Again, that depends on the spot price of gold. We all know how that can elevate up and down. But I, I'm satisfied. You know, I'm satisfied with that return. Uh, another way to look at it is, all right, let's say you did want to save up to buy that one ounce. Well, again, if you're only putting back you know the two hundred dollars a month well that's going to take you ten months to save up enough money to buy that one ounce and we've all again seen these gold prices you know you could after that ten months it's no telling where gold price could be you, you may have to save another thousand dollars before you're able to buy that one ounce gold eagle well this way at least you know you're putting something in your stack and i promise you guys there's something about stacking gold and silver that just, you know, it helps you be more frugal with your money, helps you save money, and, and just makes you better with your money, I believe. I've been doing this for a year. I've never really been somebody that was able to save money. Money would burn a hole in my pocket. But doing this, not only do I have a stack of gold and silver that's worth whatever it's worth, but I just also feel like it's made me a more frugal person where I can really save my pennies and cents and, you know, because I'm always on the lookout for what I'm going to buy next and I have a goal set and that's what I'm looking for. So, you know, stacking silver, gold, precious metals all together, you know, it has a intrinsic value to it. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. Um... But, you know, back to these one-tenth ounce gold eagles, you know, again, um, you, you tell me, hey, you know, Mississippi Mills, I, you know, there's other coins out there that doesn't have the same premium. And, yeah, you know, you can get something like this Philharmonic. And you're probably, you know, depending on where you get it from, you may you know, pay less, you know, $20 less, $25 less. I get it, you know. I mean, now the Philharmonic's well-known, so I'm sure you would get about the same return on it as you would the Eagle. But you have, you know, some of these others. Um, let me find one here. I, you know, this is a, a Mexican, one of the Pesos. Uh, you know, I'm not sure every coin shop would take that. I'm just not sure, you know. Um, but I know on these American Eagles, they're well sought after. And you will definitely, definitely get most of your money back on these guys. 
And here's another thing about the one tenth ounce. Another reason a lot of people do stacking precious metals is for, you know, end times when we have to barter. Well, if you have a bunch of one tenths, I'm pretty sure in Armageddon, a one tenth ounce eagle will probably get you a lot. May buy you a car or a gun or who knows. But again, that's a couple reasons of why I stack the one tenth ounce gold eagle. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to try to fill a tube. I've got four here, as you can see. Um, and I'm going to try to go for that tube. I'm pretty sure it takes 20 to fill a tube. So. I want to keep going. Hopefully I can get more than one a month, but you know, if I don't, I'm fine with that. The one a month really suits me and I'm okay with that. Well, uh, I think that does it. Hopefully this was informative and you guys liked it. Uh, I really do appreciate your time. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Keep on stacking.